actually beneficial for decorating cookies with royal icing and show you the unboxing of my new Excalibur. I've been wanting one of these for a while. Oh, well, I'm watch over to the background there. I've been wanting one of these for a long time and I made it a goal that after I made so much that I could get one. Made a lot of cookies over the past few months so that I could work towards it and finally get one. Kind of go over some different techniques and things like that. So enjoy! to practice I didn't just take it straight out of the box and start videoing because I wanted to be able to actually show you guys some techniques and things like that so the benefits of using a dehydrator to decorate royal icing cookies is that if you've decorated royal icing you know that it's very liquidy it's not like buttercream it's not gonna be thick as soon as you start working with it it's really thin it's well usually really thin it can be thick but to do that smooth finish that you, you know, we all love so much on the cookies, it's going to be really thin and it's going to stay wet for quite a while. And before you can do detail work on top of the flat surface, this is going to be a bunny in a pot. And in order to get these two separate, this line that separates the two, I have to let one of these areas dry before I begin the next one. To speed up that process, you are just gonna put it in the dehydrator for about, I mean, 10 or 15 minutes, depending on where you live and the humidity. But in this, in my area, I put it on the lowest setting it'll go, which is 105 degrees Fahrenheit. And I set, this specific model does not have a timer on it, so I literally just bought one of these <laughs> that was like two bucks off Amazon. And I just set that timer and whenever it goes off, just turn off the machine. So what you're doing is letting the icing crust over. So it makes like a crust that sounds kind of gross, but that's what it does. It's not completely hardened, but it's going to be enough so that you can do the next layer. Even after that, the next step is going to be your ears. So I don't think I have an in-between, but sometimes what happens with your royal icing cookies is that colors can bleed into each other. Let me see if I can show you. So this is one I have not finished. But if you look right here, do you see how the brown has bled into the top? I did not use a dehydrator for that cookie. So the dehydrator is gonna help to prevent that bleeding. After you've let the brown crust over, then I can go in and do the pink, put it back in the dehydrator, let it crust, and then do the white. And then, let's see if I have a finish. And then you can finally go in and do your paint details and leaves and all of that. You're still gonna wanna let it dry for at least eight hours after that because even though it feels crusted over, if you, if you touch it too hard or if you poke it with something sharp, it's gonna mess it up. So you're gonna want to let those still set eight hours after you finish decorating them. So really what it does is it just speeds up your process. So before I had the dehydrator, 
I could spend 20 hours easily, including dry time, not with just me sitting over the cookies, but including dry time, waiting for layers, but I could easily spend 24 hours on cookies, on just a dozen cookies before I had the dehydrator. Now that I have it and I can speed up my process for decorating and it takes me, including dry time, like 10 hours. So it's a much, makes everything so much faster. Another benefit to using a dehydrator is that it makes the cookies look shiny. And let's see. So for example, which this one, it does have glitter on it. But if you can see just the shine that's on that, it's, so nice it just gives it that shine and that pop that we all love sometimes you can still keep that shine even without a dehydrator if you just use a fan so i keep my fan over here but i don't i'm not really using it now i still could but i haven't used it since i got my dehydrator if you don't have one and you're wanting to achieve that shine i do recommend putting a fan on your cookies but if you don't use a fan and you don't use a dehydrator it's not going to keep it it's going to have more of a dull look they're still pretty but it just gives it that pop a lot of people think that if you use a dehydrator for cookies that it's gonna dry them out but it really doesn't it keeps I mean trust me I've tried it <laughs> they stay soft you can dry them out if you put them in there for too long I have not left mine in there for longer than 15 minutes at this point at a time I've put them in multiple times over and over for each layer but I have not just left them in there for 20 minutes. So I wouldn't recommend leaving them in there at least for no more than 30 minutes. Unless you're in a really humid area, then you would wanna stick with maybe 10 to 15 minutes per layer. An important thing to think about when you're looking for a dehydrator for your cookies is that you're gonna want one that has a fan that blows from the back to the front. You do not want one that goes from bottom to top. I think top to bottom can be okay, but bottom to top is pretty useless because that's just going to dry out your cookies because the air is pushing up. You want the icing to be affected by the dehydrator, by the airflow. So this one comes from the back to the front. The airflow goes like that. It's got these mesh wiring bottoms, but to further prevent your cookies from drying out, you're going to want to get just some dehydrator sheets. These are disposable ones I got. You can see this one's already been used from where the cookie was on it, but they were not that expensive. I'll put a link in the description for these and for the dehydrator, but you're just gonna lay these on there and it just keeps the cookie from drying out and it's gonna affect more of the icing, which is what you want. Another good tip that I recommend is to not after you've used the dehydrator for cookies, don't take them immediately out. Just turn the dehydrator off and let them sit in there for a few minutes because it gives it more time to crust. If you take them out too fast, it can cause your icing to shift on the cookie. And whenever the icing shifts after it started to crust, it does not look good. It doesn't give you that smooth, even flood that you're going to want it. They do make this model with a timer. When the timer goes off, the whole machine just shuts off but it was a bit more expensive and I just didn't think that that was necessary whenever I could just get a little cheap timer for myself that I could just sit. I'm gonna go through the process of actually decorating a cookie using the dehydrator to speed up the process of drying my royal icing so that I can do layers and I hope you enjoy.
watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on the little bell, and like this video if you enjoyed it or if it was useful to you. Thanks so much, guys.